Hey guys, it is Iron Magic here today, and uh, as you can see, guys, straight away off the bat, um, I'm actually selling my team. So um, you'll see here, I'm just selling people a bit more than what I actually bought them for, just to try and make a bit of profit. And um, the reason that is is just a little trading tip here is that if you guys didn't know already, um, EA because they're dickheads, um, they actually decide to take away five percent tax from everything that you sell on the game, including trade offers, when money coming in from trade offers, everything. So. I really think it's stupid to be honest and I don't understand why I mean it's just a game for going to say what is the point of 5% tax but anyways um, you know it's a bit stupid so I tried to sell my players for um, a little bit more than what I actually bought them for just to try and get that 5% back and maybe just a little bit more to actually stash in my pocket um, so instead it just doesn't go to EA to be honest because you know when it comes to selling teams I do sell teams regularly just to try and keep the amount of money that I have at a constant high um, a high amount um, but just because I mean for example one of my friends um, he actually um, kept his team since like the day FIFA came out and a couple of days ago or maybe like a couple of weeks ago um, I told him to um, sell the team because um, obviously you know it really wasn't working for him it just stopped working for him so I was like why don't you go out and try a couple new um, players and things like that and yeah he sold it and he only got back about 100k and probably it would have gone to for about 400k so as you can see here guys we jump straight into the game and I'm actually playing with my silver team and um, the reason was just obviously my players were on sell and you know I just wanted to experiment this squad because obviously if it didn't play well um, then I was just going to sell it and you can see here we come up against this team um, and he's got you know that fast left mid John I recognise that right mid I think he is a bit pacey and um, yeah so I hop into the game first of all and um, I get through with El Ganassi and as you can see here it was a horrible, horrible shot for me. I mean, usually finesse shots, you know, they curl round, but they didn't really here. But here, Kelvin, good dribbling, nice little balance to on his feet, but unlucky with the shot once again. But um, again, I had another chance, and for some reason, I couldn't put shots away this game, but I did manage to score that one with Lukaku, rifled it into the back of the net with his left foot. I mean, this guy, um, you know, on this game, I think he's an absolute monster. I mean, if you guys also want me to start doing player reviews as well, I might even do that, because there's a couple of key players on this game that I think are really, really good. And, um, yeah, so moving on, um, you know, to be honest, my decision with this game was just that, if I if I actually won if I lost the game I probably would have sold the team, but it was just all about how they played and to be honest I really wasn't having that much fun and I was losing the ball. It, it, it was you know at first when I first had the team, um, it was alright but you saw the opportunity before I don't know how he missed that but here he scored a pretty scrappy goal. I mean to be honest I hate I absolutely hate silver goalkeepers in this game. I mean half of them are fully disabled and. You know, it actually frustrates me sometimes the amount of rubbish goals that go in. And there again, another goal that went in. Poor defending on my part. But, you know, what can you do? I mean, I was, what was that? I was about, uh, what, what was that? I scored the first goal, I think. But here again, I don't know how he didn't finish that. To be honest, he should have just to put me out the game or to take give him the lead. But there again, another near post, OP shot, and it goes in. And this is just one of those games where I was getting, you know, loads of opportunities and the team just wasn't finishing. And when it comes to even key games like that, I don't believe in luck, to be honest. Well, I do believe in luck, but, you know, if I know that I'm taking good shots in good areas and they're just not finishing, then I just know it isn't the team for me. But, um, yeah, I managed um, to score a brilliant goal there with Zalau. Um, a beautiful header into the top right corner in the 88th minute. And I just managed to get the draw. So I was like, hmm, I don't really want to be playing silver teams all the time. So I thought, hmm, I might as well sell this team. But um, that was actually, I think it was a Division 5 game. And to be honest, that's really, really poor. And if you saw his team and compared to my team, I had a lot of out overpowered players. So I really wasn't happy with that performance from the team. So in the end, I went out and decided to sell pretty much the majority of them. But now we go back into my trade pile. And um, you can see quite a few players are sold. Company, Blazitowski, Blazitowski or whatever, Piszczek. Um, who was that? I think it was Javi Martinez. And then afterwards, this is when all my other players began to sell. And now look at the amount of coins I have. So you will see at the end as well, the team, I think, 
you might see the team. I think you might see it in the next episode, but if you don't, I'll leave it as a surprise in at the start of the next episode, and I'll just jump straight into games there. But here you'll see the likes of Jordi Alba sold. It took me quite a few times to um, put up a few players just like Jordi Alba, just because maybe probably no one was looking for him at the time I was selling him out. And to be honest, I love to sell my team at the weekend because that's when a lot of people are on. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe if you liked it. I've been Iron Magics, and I'll see you guys later.